Guys, today's a sad day. The Nintendo eShop for the 3DS and Wii U closes down. And I forgot to buy any games before they closed down. So instead of worrying about that, and instead of modding my old, th my old 3DS, I decided to buy a new Nintendo 3DS and mod 8 shop on it. Is it good? Is it great? Is it amazing? Is it is it terrible? Watch the video after this intro and find out, and let's go. Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Russell? Alright, Index Zones back with another video to drop. Hope you guys are having a good day, having a good month, good year already. And um, if you guys do not know, um, Nintendo, like a few months ago, announced that the Nintendo eShop for the 3DS and the Wii U was going to be closing. With me being nostalgic with like the 3DS because um, it was like my second, like probably one of the first like gaming handhelds i ever played like i played the d uh, i played the ds i played the psp so like you know i have nostalgia for like you know the 3ds and the ps vita because i also did have the ps vita even though that that kind of the ps vita was, was kind of shitty I, I won't even lie now while i could have just like you know bought games that i wanted to replay that i never got to play as a kid like when i actually had while well, i was actually paying playing attention to the 3ds instead of like nintendo the, the, but ever since the Switch came out, ever since I got the original Switch, then I got the Switch Lite, and now I got the Switch OLED. But since the 3DS eShops were going down, I decided that I wanted to recheck the shop and see if I could grab anything. And then I came to the sad realization that you can't even put your card on a damn thing no more. Meaning, if you never put your card in it, put money on it, put balance or anything, you're basically f with that in my mind. I decided that it's time to pop up the old, my old Nintendo 3DS inside, buy some games for it, and see all that. So I actually haven't opened this in like a few years, and I forgot that um, one dirty. I'm missing the. I don't know why I'm missing this. Like it still moves around. Like you know, I was trying it before, like like actually recording. But it still moves around, but like, you know, screens dirty, everything dirty, basically all that. And also, it's the, it's like one of the first models of the Nintendo 3DS XL, which if you guys do not know, um, this did not take a lot of storage. So when I did some of my research, I realized that this didn't take a lot of storage. It mostly took like 32, at most it'll take like 32, unless I probably formatted which I didn't want to do all that because it has a lot of stuff and it's kind of complicated so I did the next best thing buy a new one yep so through looking at eBay offer up and Markita I finally look I finally found a 3ds that wasn't over to 250 now before I continue the video I was gonna say um shout out to best retro gaming um if you guys do not know which I'm gonna pull this up now so i got it off of that because i think um it was like 200 and um everything was really well so um i got the 3ds had this had the silas and then um since the new nintendo 3ds took some more storage while they did pack like three gigabytes to this i decided to use one of my nintendo i decided to use my nintendo switch um lights um 228 gigabyte and decided to just put it in here modded speaking of which um rest rest in peace to my nintendo switch um light i will probably use it for like other games i don't play on my switch oled and i will probably buy another like 128 gigabyte for that because i'm kind of feeling that i used it to just mod it on a um, own system but yeah before i continue i just want to say shout out to them they really did good on this it came with everything everything was good it wasn't too pricey and also um 
It's modded from it's they got it from Japan and it's um modded in English. Also, packaging was well. They gave me this, which if I need to buy any old retro gaming, I can use this. Only problem was probably shipping, cause this took 13 days to ship. <laughs> like I believe they're, I believe they're in like New Jersey, and I don't know why, but it took for some reason to like 13 days to ship. But anyway, I don't think that's on them. Still, I'm very glad they, I'm very glad that you know they were friendly, communicative. They always communicated whenever I needed a, a question, and yeah, I got this. So I just want to say, um, thank you guys for the 3ds, and if I ever need anything else retro, I'll go to you guys first whenever I go to Mark. Kaido. but yeah so now that i got it on on my 3d on the 3ds and i've been having it for like two days i kind of want to show you guys um how does it looks and all that how everything works and all that and then i'll probably show you guys like a game i've been playing so yeah so we are going to be switching over to my laptop now so i can show you guys how everything is because um no capture card for the 3ds however i could i can hook up the audio so i can do that and then like you know just show you guys through like another webcam and all that so we're gonna be doing that now so here's the transition a few minutes later all right so uh switch over to my laptop using the terrible um built-in laptop webcam because i'm using my normal webcam to actually capture the footage for the 3ds since i can actually only connect the 3ds audio to the laptop so that's the only reason you guys can actually probably hear that also turn off lighting so that um nothing glares through the 3ds so like you know um here is basically everything so i don't know how this is gonna look through the thingy but yeah so here is the eight shop right so this is how like a shop eight shop looks is how everything goes and all that so the only things i downloaded so far is pokemon x um mario sun got the london 2012 Olymp olympic games pokemon alpha sapphire pokemon y and pokemon bank i do not know if pokemon bank will work on like a modded 3ds so i'm kind of hoping that it kind of does because if it doesn't then um i'm pretty but anyway, yeah we are now going to open a shop 12 seconds later all right, so basically this is how everything looks and if you guys are wondering why this is in like on uh, japanese remember they got it off they, they got it from japanese but they translated it to english so basically all i have really had to do was change like the region so everything's going like to appear in japanese other than like certain things but anyway, yeah so you got like games so basically you basically got pretty much i think all like 3ds games you um, as long as you modded it like from the eat shop, I'm pretty sure then you got updates just in case they actually ever update the games Which I'm not too sure because I'm not too sure but I'm pretty sure Mario Kart 7 Since that recently got an update. I'm pretty sure that probably should be on here I'm not too sure what's it called. So I actually am going to like download Mario Kart 7 I'm actually let me do it in this video So I uh, let me because I, I might as well see then we got DLC just in case the game ever actually ever got DLC. Virtual virtual console. Di so basically this is like so I'm gonna just gonna show you guys it. So basically this is like for any like Game Boy or Game Boy Color game. So like you know you got Pokemon, basically all that um, in different languages. So maybe I should put it in North America so like you guys can actually see it. So basically all of these Wario Land, mm, Legend of Zelda, Tetris, Mario. Street Fighter, Sonic, basically like anything that was like on Game Boy, NSS, Game Gear, mm, Game Boy Color, basically, basically all that. So that's like Virtual Boy. That's like Virtual. I said Virtual Boy. Um, Virtual Console. Then you got DSi Wire. Now, now this is like I'm pretty sure this is like for like DS games. Now I'm not too sure how that works. I do have to like actually research more on. Um, DS wire, but I'm pretty sure this is like for mostly like if you actually want to like probably download a few DS games like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure that's how it works I'm not too I'm not gonna like confirm in this video because I actually haven't done that yet But I'm pretty sure it's for like if you want to like download any like DSI DS basically other types of games then you got extras so basically you can actually download some other stuff so we like you got like homebrew some other stuff some other like, games like shit if you want to you can get among us translated the games rom hacks so like you know you like pokemon you want to 
um hack you want to play like a hack version of a certain pokemon 3ds game you can do that and then you we also can like do movies and all that like if you want to for some reason watch a movie here like you got a guy you got um Beavis butthead you got despicable me dory dragon ball basically all that like if you want to you can actually do it shit we even got menus rise of Gru. like you know watch peak watch peak on a peak console peak on peak baby um, I can show you how to download the games because I that's what I actually been doing So basically all you really have to do like is go to games go to wherever you live or like if a game You want to play is like in a certain like, you know, like region or like it's region free because like there's also region free or unknown Just in case basically just go to region free to check if it's on here and basically just download so like hold up is my record here? seven here nope it's not okay so now we'll go to north america a few minutes later all right guys found it after doing a lot of scrolling yeah uh, there's a lot a lot of games in north america if you guys live in north america but basically yeah so basically go to basically go to the game you want to play press a um press a again so download because it will download however the games however might take a while to download depending on like the game for me when i was downloading like the pokemon like games like um xy and then also downloaded um, Sa um sapphire i didn't download omega ruby which i'll do that probably after this video they did take a while to download however um you can check right here ata um this is basically telling you like the time it'll like probably take to download a little bit probably not too sure i'm kind of a dumbass i won't even lie but yeah so this might take a while to download so um we'll like let this sit for a bit all right now the game is now um finishing and i'm also now going to there we go there we go and now we are going to there you go all right so now the all you have to do is unwrap and now i gotta do update is available for this title all right so um apparently the um, the update does not come with the game so i do probably have to download that but first we want to check out to see if this actually works so i'm going to see if this works now 12 seconds later all right we got the game loading all right we got the game we got the spin inside and there we go Hi, we got seven. all right all right so we got single player local player multiplayer online all right so we got basically everything and then we got basically all the modes and now let's have to check one thing okay so i don't have i don't think i i don't think either i don't have a me on here or i don't have internet connected because i'm pretty sure me and then there's also another character um i think you're supposed to play play through the game and like unlock um the worm i forgot his name and then i think some other characters but basically you know all right so we basically got everything so this is how everything looks and um there is a update i actually do need to actually like download like whenever like um whenever i press it it does say i can update so i can update the game however i'll do that later so um we are now going to go back to my phone and um yeah here's another transition so guys is um a shop good yes it does take a while to First of all, mod, because there's like a lot of steps. But if you mod it right, then it'll come out to a great device to like, you know, if you want to play a lot of old 3DS games or, you know, potentially play some old, you know, like DS games, Game Boy, Game Boy Color games, like, you know, mod it, basically do all that. And then like, you know, you're set. Some recommendations. Um, one, make sure you have a lot of gigabytes because, um, like, you know, just in case you're going to download all of that and then, like, you know, you want to have, like, a good gigabyte. So, what I've been using for this and then what I, okay, what I use for literally all of my Nintendo devices is literally a 28, uh, 128 gigabyte, um, SD card because, you know, it carries a lot of storage. So, I don't have to worry about all that and, like, you know, it's basically all that. So, you guys want to probably grab that. Make sure everything works. Make sure like you're good. Basically all of that, and like I'll put the video to the one I use to mod my DS. And um yeah. So anyways, that was the video. We guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe with the bell on as gonna if I win. I upload a new video. Comment you guys, women rats and next. Tell me what you guys think of the eShop going down. Are you guys are you guys going to mod your 3DS or are you just gonna be sad and? Thanks to um, Best Retro Store from um, Mokaida 
for giving me the 3ds it was really good i can't wait to play it a bit more because like you know want to play a lot of old pokemon games a lot of old games i never played as a kid when i actually had the 3ds and um yeah so anyways, that was the video i'll see you guys later bye Oops.